Hi, my name is Michael Levine. I'm an artist and a historic preservation developer. Elias Lowy is a Polish-born Jew. Elias comes here with nothing, and Elias hooked up with, but it was like five guys, and then they got this property in 1950, and they had it as a makeshift synagogue in an old house. Then in uh, 1954, with the help of uh, a, the rabbi from uh, Beth Israel, you have a reformed rabbi helping a group of uh, Orthodox Jews who don't have any money form a congregation to then find, build a synagogue. And then they find this architect, Max Kaufman. When Max is hired, he has all this background, and he comes to this parcel, and he said, hey, I want you to make a synagogue. He knows that synagogues, uh, Orthodox synagogues, can't have the lights on. This is all natural daylight, for example. They have to face a certain direction. So this building was so far ahead of its time that it was really progressive architecture. So that's Max Kaufman's story. And so it's an Orthodox synagogue from 1955. And then the Black Theater Troupe took the building in 82 or 83. So the city of Phoenix helps the underfunded black um, theater group get this building and it already has a stage. By 2001, the roof was leaking so badly and they had a fire, they abandoned the building. It was easier for them to sell the building for the land value and they ended up in a, a larger facility that meets their programming. Um, so they were there for 18 years. And then in 15, I sold one of my historic buildings. Uh, I immediately made an offer on the Old Beth Hebrew Synagogue. And I had enough money to get into the building but I was gonna be short on renovating the building fast enough for the 60th anniversary, and in steps, Clearinghouse CDFI and Arizona Multibank, we were able to have Rosh Hashanah in the building for the first time in like 39 years. They believed in my vision for the building and that it'll be a community asset. Where I find the space, being able to take old buildings and do adaptive reuse and make them work economically, Clearinghouse CDFI and Arizona Multibank do the same thing, where they're doing the right thing with an economic model that is a not granola crunchy nonprofit model. And that's a real tough balancing act to do.